Hundreds have gathered for memorial service of late businessman and icon Richard Maponya at the Rosebank United Church in Santon, Johannesburg. The founding member of NAFCOF passed away on Monday morning at the age of 99. He started his business empire in Soweto in the 1950s. Maponya's business interests included retail stores, car dealerships and property development. It is well. For the Maponya family. When we are gathered in this fashion, the only first thing that I can say is let the church say amen. amen. Let the church say hallelujah. hallelujah. Let the church say praise the, Lord. praise the Lord. This is the day that the Lord has made. The passing of the patriarch will leave a hole that can never be filled. It is very sad. And uh, unfortunately, uh, the truth can be very difficult, and it has. And this is the truth, and it has that Dr. Richard Pilwana Maponya is no more. That is sad. His great-grandchildren read out a touching poem. You can remember him, and only that he is gone, or you can cherish his memory and let it live on. You can cry, close your mind, and be empty, and turn your back, or you can do what you would have wanted, smile, open your eyes, and live long. Friends and colleagues also paid tribute to the business giant. In the passing of Dr. Richard Maponya, South Africa has not only lost a visionary and an entrepreneurial genius, but also an amazing human being. It's not hard to be inspired by his story. Coming from the darkest days, he translated his vision into a business empire that we, as all South Africans, can be very proud of. The relationship, however, was born out of a, a dream that we established two dealerships in, in Soweto, that is a Volkswagen and Toyota dealership. And as I think Lardy mentioned earlier, Doc always wanted to establish world-class operations in Soweto. Whenever people spoke about Dr. Maponya, it was always in the context of Richard and Marina Maponya. Indeed, the two were inseparable and worked together side by side to build the business empire for which he will be remembered for. In a time when traditional family business are increasingly under threat, Dr. Meponya reminded all of us to put family first and not to take our loved ones for granted. President Cyril Ramaphosa granted Ndade Meponya a special official funeral category 2 to be held next Tuesday, with the national flags to be flown at half-mast from today until the evening of Ndade Meponya's burial.